Hi, Ryu here. I'm a UX designer and also a founder of Real World UX. Today, I wanted to cover this topic. How do you overcome applying for entry-level job positions that require two to three year of work experience if you just graduated from college or if you don't have such work experience? Okay, let's dive in. As soon as you start applying for a job, you will confront this. Hiring managers and recruiters will ask you, what kind of work experience do you have? And a lot of times, you will hear them telling you that you don't have enough experience. And you wonder, how can I possibly already have a work experience when I just graduated from a college? A lot of the time, the hiring side is in a desperate business need to fill in an open position to get their business going. This means that they have no time to hire someone with no experience because that means that they have to train and educate that new person. Which is why hiring managers and recruiters will focus on candidates' work experiences and portfolios as concrete proofs. This means that you need to understand this reality and plan ahead. While you are still in college, you should do the followings. Number one, try to do internships as much as possible. Most colleges offer internship opportunities. This is a great way to get an early exposure to the real world so that you can work on real world projects while you're still in college, which you can put into your portfolio. If the internship goes really well, you might even get an offer for a full-time position once you graduate. Number two, Try to set your school project in a real-world context. Instead of working on a pure imaginary project, try to find a real client such as local nonprofit organization that you can work with for your school project. This works great because it turns your school project into a real-world project, solving a real user's problem. The whole process of you finding an organization, making a pitch to them, working through problems with them throughout the project will be a great experience for you, which could make a great case study to be put in your portfolio. Number three, continuously work on your own UX projects. If you cannot find organizations that you can work with as described in number two, you can still work on your own UX projects. Even if you're able to do number two, I will still suggest you work on your own UX projects to continuously build up your experience. For more details on how to work on your own UX project, check out my other video from the link below. Also, check out my another video on why you need two portfolios. If you start working on all these three early on when you're still in college, you will be in a much better position once you graduate and are ready to apply for jobs. In order to gain experience, you need to continuously work on UX projects. That's the only way and the best way to learn and grow as a UX designer. If you can do all these three and put those in form of a case study or an in-depth process walkthrough as part of your portfolio, your portfolio becomes a concrete proof that you have experience and you can deliver concrete results. The only way to overcome being seen as not enough experience is to prove yourself that you can actually deliver by showing them your tangible output in form of a portfolio. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, click like and subscribe. Feel free to put any comments, requests, or suggestions. If you haven't downloaded my UX resource map or prototype resource map Lite, go ahead and download those from the link below. Okay, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.